The Big Show Network would like to welcome uh, Howard Marks, who is Director of Environmental and Regulatory Affairs for the National Asphalt Pavement Association. I'd like to, to, to get an update on the uh, or, uh, association's, I guess, efforts in increasing sustainable practices uh, among members. Uh, talk a little more about uh, Warmix, where that's at today, and where, where, where you see the future for Warmix, and also increasing uh, recycled asphalt pavement content in mixed designs. Our industry, as you know, has been real proactive over the last number of years, you know, maybe even 10 or 15, about looking at trying to reuse asphalt pavement, for example, wrap in their mixed designs, and also more recently to start to embrace something like warm mix technologies, which, as you know, is the production of pavement uh, pavement materials at a lower temperature, so it decreases the fuel used in that. So those two, you know, those two things and others, and we can talk about that in a second, really are sustainable aspects. They're helping the, the uh, industry reduce costs associated with, with producing the pavement, but at the same time they're saving natural resources for use later on. For example, using wrap both reduces the binder, the asphalt binder um, uh, requirements to extract and also saves on aggregate, natural uh, aggregate and virgin quarry. I think as budgets, state budgets get tighter, um, the pavement market is going to be more, is going to be more scrutinized from an economic standpoint more. And because of that, those practices reduce the cost of pavement. They're also sustainable. Everybody's going green. State agencies are going green. So they like that. They are starting to accept various sustainable practices like higher wrap content, and in some cases, warm mix asphalt for different types of, of, material, of, of surface materials. Some states are not as proactive or progressive with these types of technologies because in, there may be a perception that the performance might not necessarily be equal to uh, the old hot mix standards. Okay. You had mentioned earlier that, that there are some additional uh, sustainable practices that uh, we're going to see more of. Yeah, one of those uh, the, off the top of my head is the, the increased use of, of uh, asphalt shingles. Uh, primarily, maybe a couple of years ago, people were looking at utilizing manufactured waste shingles, which are you know pretty pure, high amount of asphalt, uh, decent quality of asphalt, and now we're seeing um, large uh, plays on uh, tear-off, uh, residential roof tear-off shingles. Um, what that does is basically you have this waste material that would normally go to a landfill, you're decreasing the amount that's going into a landfill, you're reutilizing that for the beneficial properties that are very compatible with asphalt pavement, and so it's kind of a win-win situation. I think we'll continue to press and push the envelope regarding more efficient and more sustainable practices, whether that means lowering the temperature even more on warm mix, whether that means incorporating other things like, for example, tire rubber or other types of material that may be compatible with the mix. It may be thought of as waste material now but can enhance the properties of the mix or, or have the same performance properties. I think we will continue to look at those types of avenues for sustainable practices in the asphalt pavement market.